let's do questions seven, eight, nine, and ten. So seven, we're doing, we're now graphing inequalities, and I think you guys are gonna do really well on these. Um, seems like we've been doing all right on them in the first place. So let's do seven. If it's saying that x is greater than negative two, what that means is we have a point on the x-axis at negative two because x is greater than negative two. In reality, for these y'all, whatever variable is saying on that left side and the number on the right. Whatever axis it is, so x, you're going to put a point at negative 2 on that axis. And then we're going to have a line crossing that axis at that point. And so if it's x, you're going to have a line going up and down. This one's going to be dashed. So I'm going to do a slight dashed line here. And then because it's greater than, everything to the right will be shaded. So you get something like this. Let's go ahead and do 8 y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 2. And so it's because our y-intercept is 2, we're going to have a point right here. And our slope's negative, so down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And I could do the opposite, up 2 over 1. Because it's greater than or less than or equal to, we're going to have a solid line crossing. And because it's less than, we'll have everything below shaded, so everything below here. Let's do nine. We have two inequalities, systems of linear equations. So let's graph the first equation. Um, y is less than 3x minus 4. So at negative 4, we have a point. And it's positive, so up 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1. We can again, 1, 2, 3 over 1. Can't go anymore. It is less than, so we'll have a dashed line. It's kind of hard to do dashed line, but you get the idea. And then it's less than, so everything below will be shaded. Let me change my color. Y is greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 3. So at plus 3, we have our point. And then it's a negative, so down 1 over 2, 1, 2. Down 1 over 2. And we're going to have everything shaded up. Oh, a solid line, sorry. Solid line. And then everything above, because it's greater than. So everything up here. So your common area is right here. All right, let's do 10. Um, this one's not already in y equals mx plus b form, so let's go ahead and get it into it. Um, subtract 3x on both sides, and then when you divide by that negative 2, you end up going to be switching. So let me get my sign. It to this. And then um, you'll end up having, let me see, 3 over 2x, and you'll have plus 1. So let's go ahead and graph that. Plus one, you have a point right here. And then you are going to be going up three, one, two, three, over two. Can't go anymore, so let's go down three, one, two, three, over two. We will have a solid line because it's less than or equal to, and you will shade everything below because it's less than. Okay, let's go ahead and change our next equation into y equals mx plus b form. You'll subtract x on both sides. And then again, because you're dividing by negative 2, it's end up going to be um, greater, I think it's greater than, yep, greater than 1 over 2x. Um, and it's going to be negative 1. So at, at negative 1, oh, I can't really see. We have a point right here. Up 1 over 2, 1, 2. Up 1 over 2, 1, 2. Down 1 over 2, 1, 2. Down 1 over 2. And then we are going to have a dash line and everything above, so everything up here. So our common area is about right here. All right, if you have any questions on this, let me know. Go ahead and move to this next video.